America's in distress With our future on the line Look around, it's a mess We took a turn Now everything you say is offensive And we slowly losing our freedom Ain't got no defense We can raise the black flag If they want war Had mercy for the enemy But don't know more We can raise the black flag If they want war Had mercy for the enemy But don't know more I have a message from America But I don't know what I can The media will say that our ideas are dangerous and that they will require danger to implement. But that is because they want you to fear the future and we do not. He who cowers in the face of slander never held his ideas in the first place. Our innocence is plain to see, yet we are still proud to be reviled by those who seek to misuse their power. We will wear our scars of persecution as badges of honor. And we do not wish to seize power as they have done. Because the power in this land rests now where it always has, among the people, our people, those Americans who built this country and sustain it still, not those who came to reap the benefits of our prosperity who had no hand in creating it. Are we really about to let this happen? Check it out. And today I want to take the opportunity to talk about an important piece of legislation that may or may not yet be on your radar. Last week I introduced the uh, Central Bank Digital Currency Anti-Surveillance State Act to halt the efforts of unelected bureaucrats here in Washington, D.C. from stripping Americans of their right to financial privacy. Digital assets and the digital economy are the future, but the Federal Reserve should play no role in developing a central bank digital currency or otherwise known as a CBDC. The consequences, if we get it wrong, are far too serious. The Biden administration is currently itching to create a digital authoritarian styled surveillance style digital dollar. Uh, and through an executive order, they are pursuing analysis on a retail CBDC that would not be open, permissionless, permissionless uh, or private. In fact, it would be ridden with significant risk to Americans' privacy, security, financial inclusion, and a whole lot more. This kind of digital currency would give the federal government access to and control over literally every financial transaction conducted by Americans. That's why I, along with a number of my colleagues, introduced the CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act. It's going to prohibit the Fed from issuing a CBDC directly to anyone. Uh, it's going to bar the Fed from using the CBDC to implement monetary policy and control our economy. And it's going to require the Fed's CBDC projects to be transparent if they get to go forward, to be transparent to Congress and the American people. We need these common sense guardrails to prevent unelected bureaucrats here in Washington from sacrificing Americans' right to financial privacy. As I think Mike Gallagher's committee is going to show us tonight, uh, we do not want to emulate the CCP. We should not be taking our, uh, our uh, direction from the Communist Party of China. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. It, it will, first of all, it will definitely happen. I, I, I was talking about 6G earlier, which is around 20, 2030. I would say that by then, 
definitely the smartphone as we know it today will not anymore be, be the usual kind of the most common interface. Wow. It's, it, many of these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. And it Here's the thing. I've been fighting for the world for a long time. For the losers and the rejects and the outcasts and the forgotten. For the abused and the unwell and the disenfranchised. Calm down, Mr. McDonald. No, I've been fighting for our freedoms and our safety and our survival and the way that we remember the world used to be. I've been fighting for the world. Sit down. No, I'm not gonna sit down. I won't shut up. I will not quit. I will not back off. I won't let you destroy everything that people have spent their lives trying to build. I have fought for the world for all my life, but do not think for a second that I will not fight against it. That's why you're here. That's why you will never leave here. <laughs> you think you can stop me? You really think you can stop me? It's been me against the world since I was old enough to think. War, famine, natural disaster. The world has fought it all and won. The world is undefeated. We are undefeated. One man will not change that. You see, that's, that's where you screwed up. They say with great power comes great responsibility. You know what else comes with great power? Ignorance. Careless mistakes. The ability to vastly underestimate the people who you have power over. And I am not alone. You can lock me up, you can hide me away, you can shoot me down like a dog in the street, but I promise you, you cannot kill me. My word, my message, my vision, my spirit will live on through Hangover Gang forever. And you know what? I guess you're not the only one making mistakes. Because when I said it was me against the world, I was mistaken. It's not me against the world. It's us against the world.